All right, hey guys, got possibly my nerdiest video to date. I know I've said that a few times before, but I think this one might be the nerdiest video to date because it's most data-driven. Took a lot of time <laughs> writing down this data, these stats, and I calculated how much money you could save if you were to ride an e-bike instead of a car. Really, I'm only factoring the, the differences between filling up your e-bike battery and filling up your gas tank. Okay, so this, this video is spurred by me. I went to the gas station today. It was $4.20 a gallon for the cheap stuff at Costco, which is normally three, sometimes under three. And I saw in California, gas prices are over $7 at some places there, which is insane. And for me, I'm always begging like, what is it gonna take for people to ditch their cars and to see e-bikes as a viable option? Not just as a toy, but as a, a serious tool and a serious, a uh, vital mode of transportation. I've seen this for years. I try to ride my bike as much as possible. I ride it in the snow, in the rain. Yeah, I just feel, and I don't feel like, I, I, maybe I am insane, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just normal. Maybe I'm gonna be the new normal. I don't know. I know a lot of you guys are out there are, the, are just like me. I find riding a bike is just way better than getting in a car. So this video is gonna be based on four different data points. Driving 2,000 miles a year, 5,000 miles a year, 10,000 miles a year, and 15,000 miles a year. And I'm going to compare them how much it would cost you in electricity to charge up your e-bike battery to do it, and how much it would cost you driving a car. And, you know, obviously there's various cars. Cars get various miles per gallon. So I went ahead. I'm ahead of you. I did 15, 20, 30, and 50 miles per gallon averages. So whether you got a pickup truck, a standard sedan, a super fuel efficient sedan, and whether you got like a hybrid, like a Prius or something like that. Let's get into this. This is gonna be very data heavy, but I'm gonna do some graphics to kind of show what I'm talking about. So first, let's go with 2,000 miles a year. This is just, this is not much. Anybody can ride 2,000 miles a year on their e-bike. You really don't have to really try very hard to ride 2,000 miles a year on your e-bike. If you drove 2,000 miles a year, at 15 miles per gallon, you would use 133 gallons. At 350 a gallon, that would be $465. At 450 a gallon, that would be $600. $5.50, that'd be $731. If you had a sedan that got decent gas mileage at 20 miles a gallon, you'd only use 100 gallons. That would be $350 a year at 350, $450 at 450, $550 at 5.5. That was easy math on that one. Um, if you got 30 miles per gallon, 66 and two thirds gallons, and at 350, that would be 233 gallons. At the very most, you'd be spending $731 a gallon, and then at the very least, you'd be spending $140 a gallon. At 350 a gallon and at 550 a gallon. You would be using 40 kilowatts of energy on your battery if you used 20 watt hours uh, a mile, which is like pretty much the average, and at eight cents a gallon, that would come out to $3.20. So you could see that's, that's huge. You could save $728 if you got a truck and you were to, or an SUV, and you decided to ditch it and just ride an e-bike. That's only on 2,000 miles a, a year. Let's go up to 5,000. Now you can see at 15 miles per gallon, if, it, if it's at 550, that's 1,833 miles, or 1,833 dollars. For an e-bike, it's eight bucks. <laughs> that's <laughs> to cover that same mileage, 5,000 miles. And here we are at 10,000 miles, and you could see at 15 miles a gallon, you'd be spending $3,666 a year. And that's a little bit more on average. That's, that's, over, that's about $300 a month. That's a car payment right there. But if you rode an e-bike, you would be spending $16 a year in electricity. It's like, it's literally is like nothing. It's a dollar a month. And you can see, even if you had a hybrid, if you had a, a, a Prius and you were spending $350 a gallon, that's 700 bucks a year still versus six, 16 bucks. Now here we go at 15,000 miles. Say you got an SUV and you are paying $550 a gallon. That's $5,500 a year in gas. That's insane. That's 450 bucks a month in gas. That's, cr that's crazy. And if you were able, if you didn't have to haul stuff, even if you had, let's just say you had an old beater, you know, Pontiac or something that was getting 20 miles a gallon, gallon on average. Even if you were paying 350 a gallon, that would be 2,625 bucks 
at driving 15,000 miles a year. If you could somehow convert that to riding your e-bike, find bike paths, find whatever bike-friendly roads, you'd be spending 24 bucks a year in electricity. And hopefully that would be green fuel. You wouldn't be using oil, non-reusable resources. You can see that obviously the more you ride, the more you ride your e-bike instead of taking a car, the more money you save. It's insane how much you spend on those short trips on your car when you're just going, say you're just going three miles to the grocery store and back, that's the least fuel efficient for your car. You're probably, if you got like a 30 mile an hour, 30 miles per gallon on average car, you're probably getting high teens by doing that because it's all stop and go most likely. You're not getting on the highway. You're not getting those highway mileage. Trust me, I use a scan gauge on my car and I, I every trip I do, I watch it and I'm constantly light footing it. And even then I see I spend, it's like five bucks in fuel to go to the gas, to the grocery store and back. It's insane. So I hope that these gas prices, people are really taking heat and really starting to crunch numbers and be like, man, I could really, I could really save a lot of money. Maybe you're, maybe you know somebody who's like complaining about how much they're spending on fuel or how much their car's costing. Show them this video. Be like, yo, you could be, it's essentially free. And people are like, oh yeah, well, like bike's gonna break all the time. Bike parts are cheap. If it ever did break, they're cheap. Chains are 12 bucks. Flat tires are six bucks. You, you take your bike to the bike mechanic to get it fixed because it's broken, you're looking at maybe 80 to 100 bucks to get it fixed, no matter what it is. You take your car in to a car mechanic to get that thing fixed, you're looking at 400, 1400 bucks. It just, it's multiplied, huge. I implore you to ride an e-bike, a good one, probably a custom-made e-bikes are the future. Pre-made e-bikes are just still, they're way behind. They're, they're 20 years in the past, even today's brand new ones. They're getting them cheaper, but the technology and the performance and everything is like from 20 years ago. They're using low-powered hub motors, which are not very good at high speeds, not very good at hill climbing, and they're just a, they're a weird riding dynamic. They're not natural. So I totally recommend checking out somebody's custom-made mid-drive bike, ride it, and see for yourself whether or not you think that it's viable. I think that you will. If you're anything like me, you'll be like, yeah, this is totally doable. And if you're like me, I got a custom-made cargo bike. So literally, and I got all my creature comforts on it. I got a motorcycle stereo, Bluetooth stereo that I wired up into it. So, I mean, I could, I'm blasting tunes if I'm going somewhere. I'm trying, you know, I know people are going to comment, hey, you're a jerk. You're going through neighborhoods. No, I don't, I'm not a jerk. <laughs> but I am comfortable when I ride and I love riding my bike. I got giant bags. I do grocery runs. I do Costco runs. Check out some of my other videos and where I do that stuff. E-bikes are totally viable. They're totally, they're totally viable for car replacements. So, Hopefully somebody found this helpful. You could literally start saving four or five hundred dollars a month, but just by switching to an e-bike. Yeah, it might cost you twelve hundred bucks, but you might be able to pay that off in two months of just riding your e-bike. Literally, and no insurance, no car maintenance, no repairs. If you're looking to save money, go e-bike. Absolutely, get a small trailer to t tow behind you, and you've got yourself a car replacement. You got a little trunk there, essentially. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Check out my other videos if you want more help getting into e-bikes. Check out johnnynerdout.com if you need help buying components to convert the bike that's in your own garage. If you already have a bike that you're like, I like this bike, convert it to an electric bike for under a thousand bucks for a killer one, one that's awesome. Later guys.